All right, guys. Uh, this is gonna be the second part of the the video that I, uh, that I put up like three weeks ago. And first of all, I wanna apologize for the delay, but this past uh, this past week has been a little bit <laughs> crazy for me. I was in a car wreck, so I uh, I've been dealing with all the aftermath of that you have when you have a car wreck. I'm doing better right now, so. Uh, I say might as well just put the video up so stay with me I got a I got a bunch of cool knife that I want to show you uh, let me start with um, the brown cold steel I'm gonna start with the smallest to the biggest one ignore the mess in my table it's getting a little <laughs> a little harder for me to to walk around so I just put a bunch of knife at the same time I'm gonna be showing it to you so this cold steel I say Get a little closer to get better. First one is a cold steel master tanto. This one is a main Taiwan. So it's you get a little bit rattle in the in the sheet that I don't like. But that's the master tanto and B10. I got another one that is the Recon Tanto. Some may be you one. The other one was a May 3 as well, but BG10, this one is BG1. I got a Magnum Tanto 12, BG10 as well. One of my favorite blades. Really like this blade. And last, I got a Kukri. Gurkha Kukri in 01 steel beast of a blade moving forward I got two to blade made by Tops. you have seen this one before this one is the Tracker 3 2 anniversary edition in CPN S35 BN I get the Tex Creek in CPN and CPN 154 carbon fiber scales this was part of the 20 anniversary edition as well what did it do? what they did what they didn't make anymore of the 20 anniversary I I do not know but to me they were really good probably poor choice you know this one in the second row would it if it would be me I would have made the silent hero and premium steel of the Tahoma I think it would be a little better seller than this one so uh, I got a little independent independent making use one of the brand so I'm gonna be showing it to you in no particular order use whatever pick it up first so I got a Miller Bros Blade this one is the M15 I did a review so you wanna see a review on it you can scroll through the channel tank uh, see where steel 516 tick is very cool piece right here I got my only Fiddle back fork. I think I need to get some more because they are pretty awesome knife. I don't remember this one is a Prat, uh, Patriot. I'm not sure. A uh, cool topper time. Pretty good stuff. Get it out of the way. I got one made by Anthony Anthony Hardy of England. So it's pretty much a Skokun bush tool retake made by him steel butt cap and everything that classic blade made by may not but the design or um, by Morse Kohansky I don't know if he designed it but he was the one behind the idea completely and made by Rob Garcia that one was by Anthony S. Harding I got a Dogwood custom Kephart this one is a. Uh, this was a special uh, made by uh, Dan Islam, but it was sold by uh, 
Snipe Center, I don't think they have anymore. Uh, the Hando are glowing the dark, pretty cool. I got a review too. It was a, the review is in Spanish, so uh, I I didn't start making the review in English by the time I reviewed this one. So that was that. Kepohar. This is one made by Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, <laughs> I owe you this one. So uh, it's designed by. Uh, Yellow uh, Doug Wilson of Yellow Hat Customs, and it's made by. Let me see if I can find in the hand. Let me see if I can see it a little bit. Yes, uh, it's made by Wallace Edge Tool. This one is the Delta Whiskey Infinity. I show you one made by uh, by uh, LT Rye, a uh, same design, but each one have different takes. Very cool. The cool about it is that shit. That shit is one of the best kind of shit I ever seen. I got a bunch of stuff on a flashlight, ferro root. I got a uh, Ted Log on. Pretty nice dangler. Very nice. Very nice guy the world right there. Yeah, that's what's uh, Wallach H2 Delta Whiskey Infinity. I got one real nice piece right here made by uh, Dustin Driver of Driver Defense. I actually won this one a raffle. Pretty awesome. I tried to grab some last year in the uh, Blade Show, but uh, it was too late. <laughs> by the day I went over there, it was, it was everything was sold out. This one is a. Uh, I don't remember one of his ambush maybe no I could be wrong but yeah it's a it's a pretty nice blade s 35 bn handle aluminum with carbon fiber bolsters and boot cap you got an aluminum thread right there in the end with blue liners pretty nice blade Dustin driver driver defense shoulder is killing me because <laughs> the accident I keep going uh, I got one Puku made by uh, Ser Sergei Chichenko, probably saying it wrong, or oh, Chichenko uh, Workshop. Um, Mammoth Bone uh, Handles. I got Dama Steel Blade. Wow, oh, my beauty most beautiful knife I get I got a I don't know nickel bolster could be wrong please very nice piece of knife right there I haven't showed this one yet I got another another Puko this one is made by Malanica CPM for B I got a review on it you can look for it very nice blade This right here, uh, Adventure Swarm. Adventure Swarm, I probably said it wrong too. Uh, this one is a Montaneer, yeah, review on it. Well, not review, mostly a video using it a little bit, but you can look it, You can look for it. This one is in CPM 3B, you got the uh, Borla Micarta handles. Some green liners. One of the finest bushcraft knife that ever may I will say all right guys let me get this out of the way and get a couple more knife and we'll keep going all right guys let's let's keep going and ignore the mess in my table so <laughs> uh, next one let me get you some uh, benchmate I see got the benchmate b62 the bush crafter it's a little rough on the sheet it's a it's a POS because look at this. Look at that. That shit. I, I probably need to get it upgrade. I not use it as much, so I don't really to worry about it. But the shit is real bad in the in the Benchmade 62. I had another Benchmade. Yeah, it's a Leuco. Still in the same condition after the last review I did. I haven't taken my time to sharpen or anything, so it's a it's a pretty rough. It's a little bit rough, but. Very, very, very good knife for the for the money. Uh, we got a 
I'm gonna get you some more that I get the same brand. Oh yeah, Spyderco. That's the Spyderco uh, Proficient. So another version of the Bushcrafter. Carbon fiber handle, S90B. One with the most control knife I have ever used. If you ask me. That's Spyderco. I get another Spyderco. That's the uh, the Puko. Uh, you got another night timing book or something like that, but I don't remember. Pick a uh, I don't know, I know you're gonna try to say, but that's the Spider Copuco right there. Spider Co, we got one Puma. That's a classic, probably the most famous Puma knife ever made. The White Hunter. Very, very cool design. But River was about to do one of this one, but I guess they got a lot of issue with the with the patent and the, and that they, they they never pull it out. It was gonna be the African hunter, but they never did. It. I was I was pretty excited because the handle on the on this one is a little uh, is a little rough. <laughs> uh, but River they 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 made pretty nice knife, and they would have made one of this. It would be great. But that was the Puma White Hunter. I got one, my old Ontario Air RK Ranger attack knife, something like that. I haven't really given much use to this. I probably sell it. I don't really see much use to it. Well, I mean, I got a little over 100 knives, so probably don't have use for many of them. <laughs> I got one K bar. This was a modified one, they call it a Pacific Theater. There you, got, you see the same blade, you got a stone watch it. And it's getting rusted because I keep it in the sheet, that's that's not bueno. Uh, I got a GT handle with the copper guard, need to do a little work on it. So that was a K bar. Got my only battle horse knife. After I used this one, I, I didn't really want to buy anymore because it got a little. Uh, it felt real bad on me, so that's my only ba battle, battle horse, bush bottle, I think it is. I got one made by Kudeman called Mini Boina Verde. So it's uh, mini green hat I would say green hat boina I was cool in my mini boina verde right there yeah one made by quartermaster they went out of production it was some 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 rumors that they were uh getting stuff imported from China and sample in the USA hopefully it's not the case uh this one is a CPM 154, 154 CPM. I don't really remember. You can handle this. Using cool design, not very practical. Maybe if it were going to be used by robot, it would be practical because uh, the handle is a uh, rough. Uh, you can have it. Uh, yeah, one made by Booker. I think it's my only Booker knife. I own. Is the Booker. Uh, Mm -hmm. Start with K, I forget the name of that. That's a bushcraft, it's a mix between uh, Kephar and I got that mini scandy grind right there with full flat grind. I think it's really good knife for uh, for the money and for bushcraft, it's, it's, it's real, real good. I got a review on it too. Uh, the steel is a uh, 14C 28N. Real, real budget, real good in my opinion for for what it is. Yeah, let's start. Uh, we're gonna start getting to the cool kids. Uh, I got a knife made by I don't know. You probably seen it in Facebook. Anton Pingo, Pino, some stuff like that. Or uh, Russia, Ukraine. So. <laughs> I bought this blade because I really like the steel. It's K390 uh, Sunmay. Yeah, um, I like the handle, the ball, and everything. But when he sent it to me, he sent it dual. <laughs> when I get it, I say, man, what's, what's going on? What the knife is dual? He said, well, I got a couple issues with custom, but 
uh, coming across the pond I guess with Rocha and the knife I guess what they were tagging it up, uh, as weapon so I say man you would tell me that I wouldn't buy the knife I mean it's not really I don't really need to do much to get an edge on it but I mean when you buy a knife you expect it to be a f functional tool I mean don't tell me Rocha probably can't stab but they can it can cut <laughs> for anything so I was surprised that you would tell me that, that I think that that's a really important point to tell somebody when selling a knife but oh well I didn't want to make a big deal out of it so I just keep the knife it's a really nice knife besides the fact that I can't do like butter knife but yeah that was the Anton so you buy a knife from him asking he gonna send it sharpen it or not okay let's see we get right here a Billy, a Billy Bush tool Bisa knife 1095 kitten handles uh, it's the guy took like three years designing it I think it came out pretty good pretty good design this just I wish that he made from time to time a couple option with a uh, better steel you know a little bit of finish in the handles and stuff like that maybe it's stainless steel a bold deal bold drill uh, hole right there and maybe a premium steel it would be great with a different finish nothing wrong with it just a real good tool what it is but I mean sometimes sometimes when you are collecting now you want something fancier than that uh, but it's it's not the case uh, that's a Castro forest knife I think number five some stuff don't remember very good bushcraft blade too as well I did a review on it it's a it's a very good tool I really like it K720 so that's the equivalent to O2 steel carbon steel uh, I got a one of my latest uh, blade show acquisition this one is a uh, big D knife Donovan Phillip this one is based in his Mississippi Hunter haven't tried, haven't used at all CPN and 4 I'm, I'm pretty excited looking forward to use it but we'll see when I get the chance to do that handle is a Surtosh uh, it's a mix between GT and and rubber very cool piece got one of my blade show this year this is a night watch knife made by Alex, Alex Harrison this one is a record hunter very very neat knife I love the uh, fuller on it EA, AEBL steel stainless pretty nice nice tap of time sweet sweet blade well, yeah my last TRC I trade the, the the apocalypse for one of my wingers axe so this is the last TRC I got probably won't I will pick it up another one apocalypse in the future maybe if I find this and deal this one is the Miller quarry oh, it used to be called M M1 before they they changed the name really 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 good tool I mean probably the best mili military ba basic blade oh, military style knife that I have a use I know a military guy so use don't take my advice but for me if I gotta use a blade for combat this that's the guy right there TRC Miller Quarry okay we got one of the quick quick hatch knife this one is the Huntsman so it's kept hard on asteroid very very nice blade O1 tool steel, you got the California bull eye, a couple more side paint. You got the old logo, he doesn't put this logo no more, so he got a better a more nicer logo right now. Uh what I got right here, I got another custom. This one is made by by Clint Robinson. You can find it probably in Facebook. This is a Tanto Tracker, uh CPN 3 very nice blade kinda haven't used it at all, haven't had time, I got a couple rough grind in the in the sharpening area. I gotta see how that work out probably because it was a pain to, to get sharper that round area right there. But it's a pretty pretty good looking blade. I mean you like that kind of stuff. I like it. Feels 
feels pretty good and very aggressive. CPN 3B, Clint Robinson. Uh, I got one made by Smith and Sons. This one is the uh, Tatali. So I, in my understanding, those are names that they use uh, uh, folklore from Louisiana monsters and, and stuff like that. Uh, this one is another uh, another take on the Nesmok. I don't know. I don't remember if I said that the quick half watch a Nesmok, but yeah, this one is another take in the Nesmok. I think that they haven't really uh, uh, been that popular as a make it because the prices and the steel they use. And this is D2. It got a very good heat treatment, but. Uh, I mean, it's like 300 bucks for D2 this day. I mean, you can find Blade Mayo CP Entry V, Mayo Premium still for that price, you know. The cheese is very nice. I got a basic green micarta handle. Very nice, my blade, but still, I mean, the price is the one that probably keep them uh, under the shadow. Not many people know that brand. I didn't know it. I used to find, find out in the uh, 20. 2019 blade show i want to buy buy one so it was like 400 bucks for the one i buy say so, man that's that's real pricey for for what it is i never buy it so uh i get right here my one made by fox fox knife this one is the uh fox ruko i don't know predator one it's made it's made for this store i think ruko store i don't know it's made in Italy. Pretty good blade. I haven't used it at all. Just, just a pretty good blade. Military design. And the cheese is pretty decent too. Yeah. Fox and Extreme Russian, yeah, they got pretty much uh, the style is very, very similar. Made in Italy, both of them. Got my FOBOS Tier 1C. Chunk, chunk of steel right there, CPN 3B. Very good survival blade. That's what you're looking for. It probably won't let you, probably won't let you ex strand it. Um, it's probably very good blade. You are thinking of picking up one. I got a couple big guys right here. This one is a CRKT Heat Show, designed by. James William need to work in the edge like last test I did I, I I get a chunk of the edge off but as a combat blade used to chop meat <laughs> I say it's pretty good what it is as a CRKT heat show I got another big boy right here um, that's no bueno right there this one is the Tora blade, Kukri, I think it's the basic uh, Gurkha Kukri. I mean, this feel really good in hand. You'd be surprised how good feel that blade and that little choy right there. I really like the way it fall in the hand. So if I need to be just swinging this for the uh, to start cooling stuff, it feel really good. I mean, as a combo blade, as an inside cookery are some of the best big knife I ever held in my hand feel real good I it lag in your hand it, it real good stuff that's what I'm trying to say real good I got one of my grails grail I mean one of the blade that, that I'm very proud to hold I'm very grateful to the maker to let me let me buy it from him this one is uh, made by uh, Jed Horn Big, that's that's the name that he goes for uh, when he's making the blade. Uh, he had a couple issues with personal stuff, so he probably is uh, out of the knife making business for a little bit. But he got a YouTube channel. You can go check it out. Jed Horn Big, and uh, he man, he's he's a real tal talent guy. Um, go go to his channel and check it out. He got. He show you how he made his knife. He made a couple knife uh, of the last Rambo movie, Last Blood. Uh, just excellent, man. This one is the Dagger Scabbard. I think it was designed for another YouTube. I don't really remember his name, but it's 
the the fit and finish. I gotta do a video on it. I own a video. Uh, it's this is just one of those very nice blades that you don't want to to use. You just, uh, look at that shit, man. That's just perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna use it because it's it meant to be used. Uh, it's and you'll see more than that. That's a dagger. A lot of work done to it. Uh, let me see if I can get the logo closer. Maybe you can better. You can see a bit of that. Probably not. Yet Hornbeak. Look at Robin in YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna try to find out the name of the guy to design. I don't remember. But that's just one of my favorite blades. You see the size. It's slight as it can be. It's just amazing blade, man. I really love this. This night. So thank you, yet for letting me buy it from you and. I appreciate that. All right, let me get a couple more blades right here in the table and get a little of this mess out of the way and we keep going. I don't. All right, guys, we are in the in the in the end. Well, with my fixed ba blade at least. Uh, let me get going. This one is a William Collins Alaska Bush tool, so a mini cookery or a compact cookery. Got a video on it too. You are interested on it. Pretty cool blade. I got another Williams Collins. This one is the Master Bushman. Had a review on it as well. You can look it up. I got a couple of little, little low end blade. This one is a Walmart pilot knife. Made by Ontario. You can find this one at Walmart for forty dollars. I have it with try at all i haven't really even used it just I, I was chopping i said man you know how you are when you <laughs> when you collect knives sometimes you just buy a knife for just for the hell hell of it that's a um wonder tactical right there i don't remember the name so don't i ain't i ain't gonna even try i buy this one 2019 blade show got a cheap walter knife i buy it because it was a cool Cool looking knife, we got a little tracker style. I mean, just use a ch China made uh, gimmick blade, but it just look cool. I thought it was, at least. And the last one, my fixed blade. Uh, this one is a. This one is a Freeman Hunter. I don't remember. I don't even remember. This one was 2019 Blade Show as well. Uh, the Freeman. And since we are at it, I just might as well show you. I got a couple uh, Axe Gumboy made by Silky. Another Gumboy. And I got a Big Boy. Got a few Axes as well. Uh, Tomahawk. This one is made by. Uh, uh, HB and Forge. This one is a medium camp hard. I think I got a review on it. Yeah, I do. HB and Forge medium camp hard. I got one made by Gerber. This one is the. Nope, I don't remember. <laughs> this one of the tactical line made for uh, firefighter of. Uh, It just, it's not sharpening, so you use a breaching tool. You got a pretty nice pry bar in the end. Yeah, hammer welded to the to the back of that thing, and you can grab it right here to to make you pry prying better, give you more leverage. So that's that one. And I got two two gram for Brooks. Got the small forex axe and the Scandinavian forex forex axe right there you can see in perspective the size of them um that's it well i told you i was gonna show you my multi-tool so i'm gonna show you my multi-tool just give me a second let me get all this stuff out of the way huh? show you my multi-tool uh, i'm probably my fixed place 